Anyways, grabbing some ice cream. We need those sweet, sweet frozen treats to get through this weather outside. Oh my goodness, yes, it has been blazing hot. Alright, so here we are. We're at the Apollo Theater. How's it been, guys? It's been a while. I'm doing okay. I'm doing alright. Actually, my latest blood work came back um, with some good news. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's that's something to be happy about. Um, but yeah, um, you're good-ish. Is it because you don't have air conditioning where you're at? And you're just miserable and melting? Don't think about the heat. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I know how it is without AC. Um, what am I doing? I'm trying to figure out... We let those doofy um, people go. Um, the Runaway Five. I don't know, were you here for the Runaway Five? Um, no, related, no relation to the Maroon Five. Uh, two people at Clarice's work ordered 99... 999 top flight notebooks. Top flight notebooks. You'll have to enlighten me about those. We were not here for the Runaway Five. Okay, so the Runaway Five, they were a band um, that was hanging out uh, in some uh, in some theaters. They keep getting themselves into debt, um, and you know, Ness has to save them every time, uh, or I do. Um, Let's see, kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around around here. What? Mr. Montoli's here? You got that wrong, kid. Okay, well, I can't look back there yet. So, um, the Runaway Five, they're just a band. They're a jazz band. And, uh, they keep getting in trouble. I keep saving their asses. This most recent venture of theirs, they got into a million dollars of debt at the uh, Tapala Theater. It's the Apollo Theater, actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, we were running around in the desert. We stumbled across a mine, which the, the owners of the mine were expecting a little bit of gold to come from there. And uh, they didn't find any gold. There were large moles that we destroyed. Um, and they, the owners of the mine, um, they found a diamond and just gave it to this kid. Um, and we traded the, uh, we traded with the owners of this theater to uh, f relieve the the Runaway Five of their contract. So they're now somewhere. They're not here. They barely said thank you, and I'm just beside myself because of it. But hey, the department store is open. We can go shopping. Let's go shopping. Would you like to return something? No. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. We love how Ness knows better than the adults do. Absolutely. Isn't that how the kids always are? Like, in pretty much any, in any situation, like, whether it's cartoons or, like, you know, just morality in general. Like, kids know a lot more than, than adults do. Um, unless they're, unless something's wrong <laughs> with, with, uh, with the kid's upbringing. Let's just withdraw a crap ton of money. Do, 
So how is Nez so loaded? Um, well, see, the thing is, his dad deposits money into his bank account um, whenever Ness destroys an enemy. And it's assumed that Ness's dad gets the money from Ness's neighbors, the uh, Pokey and his dad, um, or Pokey Picky, his dad, and his mom. Uh, so... Yeah, it's not that Ness's dad is loaded, it's just that he's borrowing obscene amounts of money from the, from his neighbors. <laughs> so, can I have Ness's job just beating up corrupt people? Yeah, <laughs> you can have it. Let's do it. Um, we're going to buy... Get that fly out of here. Uh, chef's fry pan. I'm going to give that to Crossed. Yeah, buy that. It's garbage anyway. Gold bracelet. Okay, let's get a gold bracelet on these kids. Yes, equip that. Um, yeah. I love that this game has an auto-equip, and, oh jeez, uh, I was going to get the gold bracelet. Like, this is, this game is so old, but the developers of it had enough sense to actually do auto-equip, and it just makes, makes everything so much better. Um, cold remedy, refreshing herb, protein drink, calorie stick. None of these sound delicious at all. Was there anything else that I needed from this? Toothbrush? Uh, there's no use for that. Yeah, I'm here to say hi. Thanks, lady. What a bitch. I want to save up some money and go to Summers or somewhere else to relax. Uh, calorie stick? Wh uh, that's what she said. Are you okay? <laughs> A trick yo-yo. Coin of defense. Defense ribbon. Coin of defense. Let's get, let's get Sir a coin of defense. Uh, as far as that's what she said, um, I don't know where you were going with that. That doesn't make sense to me. Can I get anything? We're gonna get a coin of defense. All right, it's a it's a dick joke. Um, a calorie stick, cause you get calories out of a dick. I mean, I don't personally. When I grow up, I want to work for Ape the people that programmed this game. Uh, I'm so sorry that, that Clarice typed that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of glad that things are actually getting typed into the chat box because, you know, it would be awfully lonely if, if people didn't. Um, what is she selling? She looks like she's selling something important. Seasonings. Whenever you try to eat something, the seasoning will automatically sprinkle on your food. It's really almost magical. What would you like? 
Sugar. Uh, sugar packet. Thank you very much. A uh, carton of cream? Sure, let's do that. But she did say it. That's okay, you can totally dictate. Uh, Alright, I think we need some food. Oh, nobody has coffee. You know, that's a dick joke. See, yeah, I mean, leave it to the professionals. <laughs> oh, a cup of coffee. Excellent. He has too many things. Naomi says you'll have to excuse her. Uh, she helped someone move today, and she is very tired. Uh, personally, gaming while tired is one of my favorite pastimes. Um... And watching people game is almost as satisfying, so. I mean, like, have you ever played, like, Mario Party while totally, absolutely uh, on zero sleep whatsoever? Oh, shit! Oh, no! Crossed has been stolen it did. And everybody's gone. Your attention, please. With the customer farm from one at Mr. Mike, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was customer Mike. Fourth floor office. Gwar. Oh no. Bad things are happening in this game. You engage the scalding coffee cup. What the hell's going on here? The scalding coffee cup spilled some scalding hot espresso. Ouch. Ouch! Get out of here. Mike and Sir gained t uh, 1,231. Okay. Is there anything over here? No problem here. This is just a room. No problem here. Any more baddies? Yes, there's baddies. They're present boxes. Um, more scalding hot espresso. Get out of here. Now I gotta heal Sir up. And myself. So, what's going on here is Cross has been stolen. Um, by some entity. Mike, customer Mike, please hurry to cross. Guarg. This must. This guy must be a really big fan of Guar. I have played Mario Party a while, uh, tired and well, or while tired and honestly, I think hallucinated extra Mario's. Not surprising. That game will will give you like. Rage aneurysms. <laughs> um, we need to bash Musica. Spy on it, too. Oh, we should be using the Franklin badge. Offense is 69. Defense is 85. Yeah! 
Yes. Didn't hit anyone. Electrical attacks only hit 25% of the time, so uh, it's actually kind of great that we rolled so well on those. Is this machine okay? Welcome to the automatic color machine. Does it do anything? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, presents. Alright, I guess I'll kill him. You engage the mystical record and its cohort. Let's just blow him up. It charged forward. How does it charge forward? Clarice says, once I played with a group of friends and a friend took the remote and threw it across the room because we stole all her stars. <laughs> yeah, that's not surprising either. Either It's always fun when those, those moments happen because you all realize just how silly playing the game is and you just focus on each other for a while. <laughs> if you guys... Oh, jeez, sir got hurt. No, sir... Uh, her friends are all really competitive, and it's kind of terrifying. If you guys want to see some fun times without the violence, then you might want to check out Game Grumps. They they play all the all the Mario Party games, and they get so angry with each other, but they keep going through it. It's hilarious. Boy, I wish we could resurrect Sir right now. It's unfortunate that we don't have him. Goods. Uh... Let's just drop the protractor. Get rid of it. I hear you, dude. I'm gonna get my girlfriend back. <sighs> guar guar! You finally made it. This department store is going to be your grave. Guag. You'll be gone, and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go... You'll go to heaven. Okay. Department store spook. Uh, I wish I could spy on him. Mike, why do you have a magnum air gun? <laughs> what are you going to use a sugar packet for? Why do you have a slime generator? <laughs> These are questions that will all get answers. Um, but in the interim, I'll just use gaming as an excuse. There are some of these items that, uh, oh my god, uh, tried life up. We're going to recover PSI fired. No! I'm dead. Um, but now I can let like, live. I'm maxed out. Great. Excellent. So uh, the rolling counter here um, will actually um, stop rolling if you get damage, but also the rolling effect can allow you to recover from a, a lethal shot uh, from an opponent. So that's really nice. So I'm just going to wait for this to refill. And... Then it's time to rock and roll. There we go. Super bomb. Can you throw the sugar packet at the scalding cup of coffee? That is a great question. I wonder if it actually works. Um, the sugar packet actually sprinkles itself on coffee when uh, when you drink coffee from your inventory. Um, so. Sudden Guts Pill. We're going to use that. Mike's Guts became 56. Solidified. Alright. Uh, i got to recover again. Tried Freeze again. I'm going to be Solidified again. This is bullshit. This is the worst. PS5. 
I, let's just use recover again. No, you know what? I'm going to use a shield of light. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> the background is some airport carpet nonsense, and <laughs> you're totally right. I'm dead. Oh no. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Um... Yeah, oh, I'm back here, motherfucker! Um, can I res someone back here? Um... Please stay the night. Hmm, watch it say. What'd you say? If we could just find a diamond, even. It's a shame that a digger like me can't find buried gold. I'll try even hard. Yeah, I, the guy gave me his diamond. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. Um, I can't res. The gap between us grows. We're so young and you're so old. Oh, mm, what you say? Oh yeah, no, I know that. Of course I do. Uh, no, I don't want to buy anything. I only found a diamond. Well, you take what you get. And I took what they got. Do, 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 do. You just didn't think it was... It wasn't... That meme has been repeated so many times that uh, I've lost all, all sensation of joy uh, from it. <sighs> Gotta walk. Walk, 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 walk. Who walks in this day and age? People just ride those stupid scooter things. Naomi still recites vines. <laughs> and says, I miss vine. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, vine was kind of a poop shoot. The kicker is... She never had a vine. Oh yeah, like, I never had a TikTok, and I think some of their stuff is funny. But, like, it's not like I'll ever get the app. Um. Because it's Jap- it's, uh, it's Chinese spyware. That's just safeness. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't think it would be- Don't you think it would be a good idea to take a break? No, get out of here, dad. Do, 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 That dad is really nice for recommending that you take breaks and stuff. Um, like, in that way. Who do you want to see? She only ever saw vines in Goodbye Vine compilations. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we gotta go back to the department store. There's the Montoli building. It's actually Trump Tower. Actually, yeah, if you if you take a look at the map here, it is remarkably similar to Trump Tower. Um, the building that's just above Ness. And I don't know if you guys were here for, uh, oh my god, a present is attacking me. Um, I don't know if you were here for, um, when I got to Foreside, the city that I'm in, um, but, like, all the cops were, like, crazy and they're attacking, uh, attacking Ness and, 
like uh, there's clearly something wrong with the people that are that are here come on get out of here guitar musica like this game came out over 20 years ago and made references to tr Donald Trump and we fell asleep um is he really getting hit again come on okay I'll show you what the sugar packet does am I gonna get shocked again He's dead again! No! Why couldn't he have stayed alive for just another second? <sighs> I can't keep my friends alive. This is problematic. I need my friends. Oh yeah, and Mr. Montoli is a real estate agent. I have a person like that. Um, Alright, get up, sir. I'm paying money, so you need to live. Of course he is. Yeah, last time um, Kevin hopped on and he was he was chatting it up. We we're having a good time. No, wait, I don't want to be in this building. That's scary. Can I just like travel through this store without any problems? How's Kevin doing lately? Yeah, he's doing great. Um, he's a uh, He's busy. Uh, he's got a lot of a lot of work on his plate, apparently. Um, you know what was really nice of him? He offered to um, get my get my channel all logoized and stuff. It was really really nice of him to offer that. He sent me a few like uh, a few designs, and it was they looked good. Slime generator, uh, scalding coffee, and spilled. No. All these area of effect things. And this stuff doesn't deal much damage. Come on! Oh, you got hurt and collapsed. He's like made out of glass or something. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin's great. Uh, yeah, something I actually mentioned to Kevin today. Um, uh, I was getting Ryan uh, ready to head out the door uh, with Christina. Uh, and um, he was, uh, I, I tried to convince him to keep his shoes on and, uh, uh, and, and tie his laces. Uh, and I said, if you don't tie your laces, uh, the shoe pirates will come and take them off your feet. And <laughs> so he started like asking questions about this, the shoe pirates. And he's saying, he started to say, well, shoe pirates are gonna steal uh, steal everything in our garage, and, <laughs> um, I'm like, no, they only steal shoes, and Christina looks at me exasperated, like, come on, you don't have to give them, like, irrational fears of pirates that don't exist. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that my entire fatherhood. 
whether by accident or not. It's just going to be great. <laughs> uh, do I have coffee? I don't have coffee. And I can't buy coffee anymore because the department store is all blacked out. Fucking presents. Nope. No, oh, come on. That's uh, got an opening attack. And it hits. Of course it hits. And I'm dead. This is dumb. It works now, but he's going to get to an age where he wants to meet the shoe pirates. Uh, I know a thing, about two, a thing or two about shoe pirates. And then it'll be like that uh, that one Calvin and Hobbes trip. Uh, Link? <laughs> I don't know which one you're talking about. There's lots of them. <laughs> Is there a hotel around here? Yeah. I love Calvin and Hobbes, but I have not memorized the entire collection. Uh, she's looking up the specific one. I'm not sure which one either. I'll stay. Do, 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 do. Good morning. This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 80% of Foresight citizens support Montoli. That's baloney. Also want to get some mock pizza. We can't deliver and deliver any pizza for the time being. Call again. What's the point of having your number then? Hello, this is Escargo es Express. Express. Let's get the HP sucker. The jar of fly honey. And the magnum air gun. Oh, this isn't the right place. Um, department store. Let's just fight these things head on. Goods. 
bash. We can't find it, but remember the ones where Calvin and Calvin's dad has to make up the reasons why old photos are black and white and terrifies Calvin. Yeah, I love those. Ah, I think that dad was was a really important character um, in that in that series in that comic strip. Um, I don't want to run into two of these guys again. We tried to get away, but couldn't. What? Okay, okay. Um, let's run away. We're at a disadvantage here. Come on. Come on, game. Do the thing that I want you to do. I gotta recover. Uh oh. Kind of the same vibe. Yeah. Defense spray. Gonna try to run away. I'm so unhappy about this. Really? <sighs> I need to like look at a strategy guide to see what's like what I can do to make this a more fair fight. Hooray! I live. Yeah, this is kind of upsetting. Like, I guess I'm underleveled or something? I know what I need to do. This is the part where I need to go find that uh, that caterpillar. Okay. The criminal caterpillar. Criminal Caterpillar is a rare enemy in Earthbound that can be encountered when wandering around the dusty dunes desert. I can't talk. It only knows PSI Fire A. Outside of battle, in battle, it runs away from Ness and his party, making it easy to sneak up on and get an auto win. It gives a great deal of experience. Alright, I guess we're going to look at look it up. Comics update. Mod flex. <laughs> I didn't put any rice in. Those are maggots. <laughs> Freaking love that. All right. We got
go. I'm glad we all shared an appreciation for Calvin and Hobbes. Who, who doesn't? Like Bill Watterson is brilliant for having introduced the childlike mentality of of the philosopher um, into a an actual child character, and you know having a family play around that and an imaginary friend. It's brilliant. All right, we're gonna wander the desert some more. I guess, because we need to level, and this is the best way to do it. Four bucks. Yeah, let's go. You found the, uh, the Calvin character super relatable, or Hobbes? I think once I got to my teenage years, I found Hobbes more relatable than Calvin. He says he was Calvin Incarnate. Interesting. What are we doing with these things? What is a crested buka? like we're not under leveled for this. Alright, alright, I'll click your links. stuff. Green stuff. See, this is what's interesting, interesting to me, um, is that as parents, they don't seem to agree on each other's parenting, but they also do the same things. And I suppose that's actually kind of similar to what my parenting experience has been like in some cases where we do things in jest um, but it uh, I, I guess the only the only difference is that we don't give each other like disapproving looks <laughs> most of the time um, but we just you know, occasionally have these moments where we're goofing off with Ryan and he believes something or he doesn't believe something and it's like um, it's difficult to know where that line is cute little UFO is such a great name except when it becomes when it comes to shoe pirates yeah shoe pirates are off limits I, I guess they're, they're not supposed to be a thing PSI, healing. Get better. Oh, that was almost bad. Uh, 
And we left a present. Inside the present there was a bag of fries. I took it. Alright, so... Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh yeah, these guys. They're just kind of sunbathing in the middle of the desert. Uh, and there's a Skelpion. GG, Skelpion. As if scorpions weren't already terrifying. That is nature's way of saying, stay back. I gotta check on something real quick. I'll be right back. I had forgotten that I left a door open uh, with the screen door shut, of course, but the cats were playing with the bugs outside of it. So, yeah. Endless entertainment for them. A little bit of a nuisance for me. Where's that damn caterpillar? Oh, yeah. Um, I lost a pair of contact lenses in here in the dusty, dusty dunes. They were a memento, memento from my grandma, and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me, and I'll give you a reward. I'm Pen Penitella Giovanni. Please find me at the Foresight Bakery, second floor. Let's get... Um, butterflies. Uh, wow, can't take the heat, sir. Sudden Guts. That's good. Sudden Guts is important. Let's get away from these happy people. Penitella Giovanni, new D&D &D character name. It certainly is long-winded. Mike contributing to the buffalo extinction problem. Oh my goodness, things are just darting around. We're gonna use some psychic powers. And 86. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Big grin. Alright, I want to destroy this sphere last because it blows up and it has the power to kill Sir and Mike. Okay, gotta run quick. Um, PSI recover life up, sir. Ah, oh, no! This is horrible. 
He just dies in the desert. Had no visible effect on Sir. Yeah, it is kind of nightmare fuel. Um, there's some other weirdness in this game. Um, so, fair warning. Um, yay. Um, this game gets beyond bizarre. It's like, it almost gets to be like, Giger combined with uh, oh man, I'm I'm blanking on the the guy's name. This game's got everything. I'm just gonna float around in the desert for a little bit. Try to find that caterpillar. Do, 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 do. Runaway dog. Yeah, this game has a lot of uh, horror elements to it, but. Uh, those don't come until later. Like once the game has gotten more serious, because right now it's still kind of silly. I don't know if you guys know who H.R. Giger is. He's the the genius who came up with the art direction in, uh, in the Alien series. Um, it's kind of... Um, who's the, the author that did the Cthulhu series? Uh, um, H.P. Lovecraft. That's what makes this game so cool. Which part? Lovecraft? Yeah. Um, gotta heal the poison, and then life up. Monkey. As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean, des desert, not dessert. I'm happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? Butterfly! Skip sandwich. Uh, let's eat that right away. Fine, I'll fight them. The bizarreness, slowly increasing amounts of horror. Yeah, it really just kind of edges up the, uh, it titrates the horror. Okay. Offense down. Didn't work on the Buka. Let's get rid of the wolf first then. No, no poison. Poison is the worst status ailment. It shouldn't even be in games.
PSI flash beta. All right, great. Um, boiled egg. All the enemies are so fast here. Hey. Yeah, HP Lovecraft is uh is pretty neat, but the I think it it's that's too like uh Eldritch horror type stuff. Um, this is like sci-fi horror. Or it gets to be closer and closer to sci-fi horror. Right now it's just kind of silly horror. This has a sci-fi feel to it. Yeah, there's the UFOs. They, they kind of gear it towards that. Um, I mean, they sort of had the normal animals, normal happenings in the early game. Um, then they kind of just insert little bits of like, oh, here's a robot here, and here's a, a, you know, just a little technical piece here, and here's a guy who repairs things, and like they're really setting up for for bigger things later game. Hey, -da 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 -da. we win. But where is that caterpillar? I need that butterfly. I think two of them, I guess it's only two hits. That was a smash. The backgrounds, as a uh, an interesting note, they are... Um, some of the earliest uh, three-dimensional effects that Nintendo has actually done. Um, they kind of created a mini 3D engine on each cartridge, and they didn't rely on any graphics card. It's entirely it's, um, it's entirely CPU-based uh, animations. Which is why the the old 3D animations are they look so crappy. <laughs> we. Of course, by uh, 1995, like I think they were already experimenting with the Nintendo 64 equipment, um, and that means they were getting started on the the Mario uh, of the N64, Super Mario 64, um, which was a great title um, uh, as far as, like, you know, titles go for, uh, for the N64. Which, speaking of which, I might actually, um, ooh, big bottle rocket, yeah. 
I might actually play some N64 games later on my stream, but I, I want to make it through uh, through Earthbound f first because this this game is like super awesome and uh, very dear to me. I'm getting messages. Getting some of the Blackberry Crisp with an ample serving of Cool Whip on it. Yeah, I might have to take care of uh, some some Christina stuff. I want to see what happens here first. Okay. Um, so Naomi, I don't think you've ever played the uh, the game uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Naomi, I'm not sure about you, but if you have, you probably have very strong feelings about it. Chasing butterflies. No, I think it was before our time. Um, you don't have to have things be in your time to enjoy them. But I get it. Um, this is the the old connoisseur uh, of myself. Uh, you, have you have you heard things about it? Have you investigated it? Like, what do you, what do you guys know about it? presume you're still typing, but <laughs> if you are. Yes, we've heard good things. Clarice watched a playthrough of the N64 version at some point in high school. I haven't seen any of it, but I know the characters. That's it. I just feel like I would like it. Yes, you would. It's uh, kind of a tale of, of uh, coming of age and romance and, um, and adventure, and it really drives those points home. Uh, and uh, the music direction by Koji Kondo, he is like the master of Nintendo music. Um, he knows a lot about uh, invoking emotion in his music, and it's super uh, stellar. Um, yeah, I, I, I have nothing but praise for those games, uh, for Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time and Majora's Mask. Um, somebody, uh, pointed out in Majora's Mask, um, that that game revolves around the cycle of grief, or grieving, um, and... Like, it goes into really deep psychology. Um, there's, a, there's a great analysis of it online. Um, so I'd also love to play that game, but we'll get there. Um, I think I'm going to stop wandering the desert because we've leveled a few times, and I also have to... Um, I, have to ha also, blah, 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 I can't talk. I have to get Christina some stuff. She's... Uh, in need of some Advil dearly. So let's hit the cabin here and I'll be right back.
and I am back. Sounds amazing if that's what you're thinking of playing on here. We would love to watch. Awesome. Let's get rid of this uh, silly music. This stream didn't exactly turn out to be what I wanted it to. I was hoping to get a little further in, in the game than, you know, just constantly dying in the department store. I'll have to rename the episode. I'm glad you're still having fun. It's good to talk to you guys. It's been a while. More butterflies. There are more butterflies than I can shake a stick at. Gotta get to the hospital. Oh, it's a annoying reveler. Um, cafe. I want hospital. Oh, we gotta go visit the lady in the bakery, too. Let's do that too. Still unconscious. We'll revive him when you've given us money. Yep, that's the American healthcare system. Except 150 bucks seems awfully cheap. the bakery? It's down there. Legit, what I was about to type, Mike. Yeah. Do you see my mind? It is like a laser. Second floor of the bakery. Where, don't tell me Crossed has it. No, <laughs> the, the contact lenses. We don't have them. Cross does. That's baloney. We gotta go get Crossed back. Okay, we gotta go to the department store, which is upright. only there were some way to kind of cheat my way through this. But no, there's presents standing in the way. Evil presents. Dodged. No. Those hurt. Why contact lenses, though? We found them in the desert. Uh, it was in last episode. Um, we were wandering the desert. We found a pair of contact lenses. Um, and, uh, yeah, that sign in the middle of the desert. Even The Sims has a cheat code. Uh, so that takes the fun out of it. I know, I just want to get some progress because this is absolute baloney. It's a baloney sandwich. That's better. But we gotta heal Sir. What? Life up that? The squiggly? I guess that's gamma?
Okay, can we make it all the way there without dying? Yes, we got a green. Engage the mystical record and its cohort. Here's a chance for a surprise opening attack. Let's blow them all up. Except this doesn't work all that well against them. That one did. Yeah, did you guys ever exploit the Sims cheat code where you can actually include a semicolon and then the repeat code function? Because it was a it was a console command that you can use to um, to enter in. Yeah, it's a console command, so console commands usually have some sort of, sort of delimitation to them. So in The Sims, the delimiter is a semicolon, not a comma or anything like that, but um, if you do that and I think exclamation point, it'll um, repeat the previous... Uh, someone's dead. Um, it'll repeat the previous command. We're just gonna heal up everyone. Yeah, Rosebud. And then you do uh, semicolon exclamation point. And then you just copy and paste that. Um, if you do copy and paste the semicolon exclamation point, it'll repeat that as many times as you enter it in, so you don't have to keep on entering it a billion times. Alright, we got a surprise attack on these guys, so let's kick the crap out of them. What? All right. Okay, I think we're almost there. Um, it's interesting how these guys move. They, it's like they have a a set path for a few seconds, and then as soon as you move they'll lock back onto it, onto your location. Maybe I should have exploited that a little more. I'm glad they're hitting the tank. Bag of fries. More messages. Let me show you a couple of uh, before. I'm thinking of changing my hair color. So Christina's doing some research on hair colorants. Um, we made it to the room where it happens. Um, I was thinking of either like a sort of a teal or a light blue. If not that, then I might go platinum. Quag, quag. You finally made it. 
This department store is going to be your grave. Oh, that is super fun. Yeah, I like to think so. I like to think that I'm hip. That I'm cool, like the cool kids. Do the teal, yeah. Um, we're going to go... That looks pretty cool. Alright. Um, I think we're going to use Flash Beta and a big bottle rocket. Whack. I was going to shoot fire. Okay, we're going to life up, sir, and bottle rocket the spook. What? Didn't work on him. We're going to get the sudden guts pill and a bomb. Oh. We need to life up, sir, and let's give some defense to Mike. No. Recovered, yes. I guess all I can do is bash and shoot. Wow, okay. Hurry up. So I should do teal, you guys think? Sir lived! He lived! Oh my goodness! That makes me so happy. He's gonna level up a shit ton now. Yeah! 34. Um. Clarice and Naomi say I should do the teal. Alright. Sir survived. He's a survivor. Master Gagas will avenge me. At this moment, Cross should be Montoli Guarg. Uh, she has purple hair. Yeah. Complimentary. I wonder if someone was fighting. Toys! Let's get a toy! Uh, we're gonna get a 
teddy bear. Sports. Oh, is this where they have the... <laughs> it's the manly time of year. <laughs> time for sports, guys. Can you buy a whoopee cushion? I wish. That'd be some great comedy humor in this game. I suppose we need to get some food. Goods. Curtain of cream. We gotta get, uh... Can we get coffee here? I was at the burger shop. No. Let's get a double burger. Digital food is the best food. Except the video output of the Super Nintendo is analog, so I guess it's analog food. Digital via analog visuals. Um, so the department store is toast. So we want to go to the building right above us. Do, 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 do. Oh, is the teal not in stock? I might not be able to do the teal. Christina says I'd have to bleach my hair first, and everybody knows how how I look with bleached hair. <laughs> Cross has been kidnapped uh, and she's been taken to Montoli's tower. So we gotta find her. Oops. Oops. Um, is Pokey in here still? Oh, this doofus. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la, don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey! Get it? I'm now Geldegard Montoli's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Montoli. Was that you? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here. What a dick. I'm gonna grind his bones. That's what she said. I just realized that was just such a, a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Uh, that family is full of douches. Private elevator. That seems to be a specific, a specific caricature of a specific person with a tower. Uh, Trump? No, no, uh, that's not Trump. Pokey is not Trump. Uh, last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Um... I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Montoli's office. Oh, I think we have to go to the cafe now. Is this where we're going to hallucinate? 
I hope it is. Um, Moonside is weird and confusing. We're currently in Foreside, but soon we will go to Moonside. Cafe. Ah, yes, here we are. What? Does Mr. Geldegard Montoli come here often? Hello, time to get up! It could never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. There's a loud noise outside. Must have been the seventh inning stretch. And the fans are singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game at the stadium, which the city does not have. Uh oh. Oh no, Everdread. Move. Uh, let's give him the carton of cream. Are you sure? Yes. Take my place. Wheeze, wheeze. Aren't you, Mike? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are, Mike, aren't you? It's me we met in Tucson. Ever dread from Berglin Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Manny Manny. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, I'm in pain and Montoli tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked the thief. He wanted me out of the way. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. I said I'd tell you only once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more. Do you, you want to hear it again? No. You can die now. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When you're on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa, so long. He's just getting up and going away. What happened? Did he get shot? Uh, Alright, play on. Not with a bang, but a haiku. Yeah. But he just gets up and walks away. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Question mark, question mark, question mark? No, that's right, I am the host here. What? Foreside? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. I'm just attacked in the middle of a cafe. You can, you, you confront the Robopump. Okay. It's a gas pump. It's counting down. That cup of coffee had something a little extra in it. Yep. We don't have any PSI. I didn't heal Sir before we did this. This is bad. Robo-pump was broken to pieces. Um, yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense in Moonside. Uh, PSI caramel, please. Gotta recover that pee-pee. Yes, this is Moonside. Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to Moonside. Uh, this guy's tripping balls. If you stay here too long, you'll end up frying your brain. Yes, you will. No, you will not. Yes, no, you will. 
mount. Oh yeah, these dudes in shorts. They're the teleporters. Hello and goodbye. How would anyone even know? Protein drink. Sweet. And there's like invisible walls everywhere. Everywhere. I can't go anywhere. No problem here. Hello and goodbye. Uh, it's a dolly clock. You engage the dolly's clock. That's actually what it's called. I think we're gonna give our brains a little break from this. Wow, stopped time. That's dangerous. Gained a bunch of XP. Okay, we can go on the streets now. Uh, that's the cafe. Do you understand all this? No, good. I'm glad you get it. Mm hmm. That's steak. The color, the smell, the taste, the texture. Hey, you, you're drooling. This is bizarre. Hotel. Let's get the hotel and save you save. Mike picked up the receiver. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Continue. I'm just gonna save the state of this and uh... We will come to it later. Save game position in slot number nine. Alright guys, you should get some rest. Uh, open up the windows, cool off, and uh, all sorts of good stuff. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a good evening. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.